Hey everybody, how we doing? Welcome back today on this really nice, beautiful, partly cloudy day. So I was just in Alberta a couple of weeks ago on a load. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. But I'm out here in the middle of nowhere and there's a trailer here from Alberta. I thought that was really cool. So check out this piece of equipment I have behind me. I've never seen anything like this. I assume some of you that are in Canada, some of my Canadian viewers, you may know what this thing is, but it's pretty interesting. My guess is this is probably something for drilling, maybe oil fields. Look at that engine. It's hard to kind of state how big it is. It's the size of my sleeper. Whatever this piece of equipment is, it's, it's enormous. This low boy trailer hauling it is also just giant. That engine is called a Waukesha. It's got a, what's it look like? One, two, three, four, five. It's like a V12, it's huge. Pro Pack from Alberta, I've been taking that. Very interesting. I've been thinking about building a, uh, heavy haul truck because I kind of don't have any exposure to heavy haul. All my trucks are for anything 86,000 pounds or less. So it'd be kind of cool to have something to do this kind of work with. Look how big this is. This is huge. It's super wide. I kind of was not expecting to see something like this out here. And got the cows out there. I'm going to guess it's something for an oil field. It may be headed down to Texas. This thing is enormous. Those are the cylinders up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. It's a V12. This thing is crazy. where the crankshaft connects into what I'm assuming is a pump system. Engineers, fabricators, and constructors for oil and gas processing. Propac. This is cool. This trailer's from Alberta. I won't catch any of that stuff in the video, but this trailer's a Edmonton trailer. So, pretty interesting. You never get to see this stuff up close. It's pretty rare, actually. These guys are almost as, as elusive as cattle truckers are. It'd be cool to have a heavy haul truck. I've been looking at a couple on the market because I would like to build one. I'm, I just don't have exposure to that. So before I get going, I do need uh, some of your guys' help, which is why I have that in the description. Let me set this camera up here. I'm gonna flip up the screen. That way I can see. So, as uh, some of the longtime viewers know, my purple semi truck is a has a Detroit 60 in it, and I'm trying to get grease on me. I've managed to come across two Detroit D Deck threes. That's what's in the truck right now is a Detroit D Deck three. I've got two of them, and this one's a. This one's a little banged up. It's got some marks right here on the side. They're dusty. I haven't cleaned them off. They've been sitting on a shelf for at least 20 years. Um, I found them up at a dealer. Got really lucky. The pins are all in extremely good condition. Camera's trying to focus on my face. Everything on them is in good condition. Uh, but I need, I, some of you may know somebody or a business. I know Pittsburgh Power does a lot of Detroit stuff, but I'm looking for either a shop or someone that knows how to pop these open, clean them, and tune them. Because I need them tuned to 500, 1850. I have to replace the ECM on the purple truck. Um, 
So that's something that I need to do here in the next couple of months. So these are my D-Deck 3s. I've got two of them. I'll take your suggestions on how to clean them and get them tuned. Let me know in the comments. A lot of you are extremely smart and know what you're talking about. And uh, it'll give me uh, some good help there. So this one's from 97. And my engine's a 99. This one's from 99. So there you have it. I'm just out here hanging out. Need to stop for a bathroom break. Check out this really cool heavy haul stuff. Those are the D-Decks. And I suppose before we go, we'll go ahead and check out and make sure that the cattle are doing okay. I'm going to close the door though. I was fighting a fly for about three hours. I don't want any more flies in my truck. Got some uh, mismatched sizes in here. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. I really don't like hauling cattle that are mismatched in their sizes like that. It does present a problem sometimes. A lot of these are probably about oh, 300 pounds. Oh, we got a big boy in here. There he is. Look how much bigger this one is. It's this little guy and then the big old fatty over there. He'd win the county fair championship for biggest boy, wouldn't he? And you got crap on your face because you're smaller than everyone. Okay, that wraps that up. This will be a short one. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being here and uh, have a good day.